over unity test the coil test I don't know I have this spark gap extremely magnetically clenched I have two giant magnets for that pieces in a traction mode and then I have some little magnets as well in a traction mode and of course spark gap look at the light bulb absolutely massive amounts of over unity All the skeptics out there want to know the amount of how much of a difference grounding makes. So I'll show you how much of a difference grounding makes. Let's shut this off. This is the ground. This goes all the way to my ground setup, the ground rods. This wire goes all the way to my ground rods. Now here's how much current flows through without the ground. Give me a second to set it up. Do this one-handed. Okay. We're in current mode. Here's how much current flows through with no ground rod. About 11 amps, and the voltage is around 220 volts on the customer side. So we got about 12 amps coming through. It's about spike, it's spike current, DC, square wave, off and on. Turn it off. Now I'll add the ground rod. Here's the ground connection. Connect to the Tesla coil, which is a real Tesla coil by Filer. Ground rod connected, here's the increase in power. Look at that, almost 60 amp spike. Look at that. And that water's boiling. So the ground rod makes a huge difference. And here's the secondary pickup coil. I'd like to see you do this without tripping your breaker. Look at that. This is massive amounts of over unity. I'd be tripping my breaker otherwise. It's a completely wireless coil. I'm gonna shut it off for safety. Completely wireless coil. This just sits on top. Completely wireless pickup coil. No jokes. Nothing but raw Tesla science. All from that declassified shit that came out not too long ago. Sorry for the shaky footage. Oh, okay, we're clipped back on now. I'm gonna turn it back on. Here we go. When this type of energy, it's a type of impulse energy, and it's magnified when it goes through the ground, and I can show that. I'm gonna shut this off, and I'm gonna run. Here's another ground rod, a separate ground rod. Here's the cable for it. I'm gonna have it go to a light bulb. Bear with me again. Okay, I clip it to the light bulb. It's clipped to the light bulb. It's a separate ground rod. Now turn it on, and you can check this out. Energy through the ground. Magnified energy through the ground. If that's not over unity, I don't know what the hell is. I've had plasma up here in light bulbs before too while doing this. Look at that. While running that at full brightness. How am I not tripping my breakers? No tricks here whatsoever. Shut it off. <clears throat> I'm 
No tricks here whatsoever. All that power coming from a... Let's see if I can show this. 1,000 watt inverter, 2,000 watt peak. And the batteries are still not dead. They're at 12.1 volts. So... You tell me. This whole section of my lab runs off the solar box. No joke. That's where the magic happens. The spark gap and the ground connection. Oh, goodbye.